Hi guys. So in several of my videos on YouTube, my YouTube channel, I've spoken about the importance of visualization and how it can be an effective tool in improving skills, preparing for events, and other important occasions. But many of you may be saying, that's all well and good. I've heard about visualization, but how do I actually do it? Well, if that's the question you have, this is a video for you. So today I'm going to walk you through my simple and effective method of how to visualize a technique or practice you want to develop or improve. To do this, you'll need three things. You'll need a pen and paper, a timer, and relaxing music. Firstly, you'll need the pen and paper to list three things. Firstly, you'll need to list a technique or practice you want to improve. Uh, secondly, you want to list or write down, describe how it is performed. If you need help with this part of it, you can ask your coach or someone more experienced with the activity uh, to help you. But keep in mind that your own words are better because they are, they are more meaningful to you. Often when you describe a technique or practice, you will often notice images appearing in your mind. And with that, you'll probably feel the bodily sensations as well. Lastly, you want to list uh, when is the best time to perform the technique or action, or when does it happen? So the second thing, the timer, uh, this could be uh, your phone, or it could be your smartwatch. Uh, this is used so you can set a time limit, so you don't have to worry about time. It doesn't interfere with you uh, focusing on, you know, from focusing on your practice. I would recommend using an ascending alarm or a vibration from your smartwatch if possible. Uh, you can set the timer for three, five, or even ten minutes, uh, depending on how your how long your practice is. Uh, if it's like a match, you could do like three times three minutes of a one minute rest in between if your activity is structured in such a way. And the last thing we spoke about, the music. Um, this could also uh, come from your phone. Okay, I'd recommend using headphones uh, to prevent distractions. Uh, music with no words, uh, if possible, help. Uh, if you're going to use uh, music with words, maybe unfamiliar tracks so you don't start seeing the words and get distracted in that way. Another way to, uh, you can use music uh, is to create a playlist uh, beforehand or put a track on repeat. Uh, just make sure the track exceeds the length of time of your practice. Uh, and in this way, you could even use it as your timer for your practice. So once you have your paper of your technique or practice written down, uh, your timer set and your playlist ready, you can now begin. So process wise, you start by finding yourself a comfortable space to begin your practice. Uh, you start reading uh, the second and third part of your, um, on your paper, that's the how and when, several times until you can picture it clearly in your mind. Once you have it there, the picture is firm, the, the vision, uh, now you can set your timer. Close your eyes and begin breathing in and out slowly through your nose to, and begin your practice. So when your timer finishes, take a minute or so to slowly open your eyes, and reflect on your practice, taking note of how well it went and any revelations you had about how to improve your practice in the future. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Please, please leave comments or questions in the comment box below on how your visualization practice went. Please share this video and if you haven't already, please subscribe so that you get notified when my next video comes out. Looking forward to seeing you in my next video.